Hello, hello, hello. My name is Shancy and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I do everyday makeup looks, size 16 fashion videos, and Canadian content. And sometimes I like to dabble with my hair and all the different shades of blonde possible. So you probably found my channel watching a couple videos that have gone viral, notably my Moroccan oil uh, hair color depositing mask video. And if you found me there, you might enjoy this video because today, I'm actually gonna be toning my hair with the Schwarzkopf Professional Chroma ID Bonding Color Masks. As you guys would have seen in the other video, the Moroccan Oil Hair Color Depositing Mask is very easy to use. Um, I didn't wear any gloves, but I think this is a little bit more of a professional product that you can also use at home, so I was a little bit skeptical. Um, I did do a little bit of research and I watched a video which I'll link here somewhere. It's like an educational tutorial about this product, all the different colors, how to use it. Um, it's a little bit more of a professional grade than something like the color depositing mask. So a little bit of background, I'm actually a brand ambassador for a local salon in Ottawa called Hair Republic Salon and they actually gifted me these products and my best friend owns the salon so I did or she definitely knows like what to recommend for me. So today I'm actually going to use two products together and that's another thing that's fun about these products is that you can mix them uh, and make your own kind of color shades. So for today's video I'm going to use uh, mostly 9.5-1 which is going to give me that really cool uh, blonde just to tone out some of that like orangey yellow in my hair. Uh, but I'm also going to mix a little bit of 9.5-4, which is a beige, and that's going to help to tone it and warm the hair so it looks a little bit more natural. Personally, I don't look great when my hair is overly like silver, um, so this should help balance it. And these products are mixable. So when I watched the educational video about Chroma ID, what was interesting is that they kept talking about how it's like a three-in-one product. So it's a color depositing uh, product so it's like a semi permanent color but it's a professional grade so you can mix it um, and they play friendly with salon products um, it's also a bonding agent so I guess it helps to um, make your hair a little bit more uh, like it bonds the hair follicles um, and then the third thing is is that it's like a mask so it helps with the actual um, like nourishing of your hair and it'll help to make it soft so for the salon industry, this is a bit of an innovative product because it's something they can use in salon, but also sell to their clients because it is safe and that they can do it at home. Before I started this morning, I did a bit of research as I was saying. Um, so you have to wash your hair and towel uh, dry it, but it should stay a little bit damp, just as, as though like you'd, you'd be in a salon because we're basically toning the hair. Um, and it says for a lighter application, you can do five to 10 minutes. If you want something more intense, you can wait all the way to 20 minutes. Um, and it's, again, it's flexible. So if you want um, to mix colors, you can. So these products, as well as the color depositing mask from Moroccan oil, work when you have lifted hair. So you're gonna see probably the most bang for your buck on your light ends. Um, and it might not even do anything to the natural or if it does it won't last on your natural hair so you definitely do need like lifted hair leftover highlights um, especially now that it's covid uh, i'm sure we all have a lot of roots like me like i always say like the joke is that i'm gonna be a brunette by the end of this um so this is kind of a way to just have fun with the rest of my hair and it's going to be healthy for my hair so another question i get a lot even in the moroccan oil video is how long do these products last now for this product, um, the video is stating that if you do the 5 to 10 minutes, it's about 8 to 12 washes. If you leave it in for 20 minutes, you could extend it to about 12 to 15 washes. Personally, I don't wash my hair a lot, so it will last me a lot longer. But if you wash your hair every day, obviously you'll have to be doing this um, a lot more regularly. But I like to use like the number of washes as a good indicator. Alright, enough talking. Let's get into this. So first things first, I'm going to go in the shower wash and just towel dry my hair and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to apply this. See you soon. Okay, hair is washed. Now I'm just going to give it a nice brush through because I didn't use conditioner so I'm using a uh, wet brush. Ah. Okay, give me a few minutes and we'll see you in a bit. Now I'm going to split my hair into different sections. You would have seen this in the Moroccan oil video as well. 
and I want to be a little bit more methodical for this than I was for that video. Before you begin, I'm going to suggest that you have everything at your disposal because your hands are going to get really messy. So the first thing you're going to want to do, get yourself some gloves. I don't have a container and a brush as they do at the salon, um, so I would pick one of those up um, and I'll put a whole bunch of products um, in the description box below before you start, like make sure you have all those products available. You're also going to want uh, a timer, so I'm going to use my phone. And then you're going to want to make sure your products are all open and ready to go. So for the beige color, I have it in a smaller container. And for the 9.5-1, I've got this in a pump, which is very convenient. And I actually did mention that in the Moroccan oil video, that um, the pump is going to be a lot easier to use. So for today, I'm going to actually just use my hands to apply it, because I'm just going to go down. I don't need to focus too much on my roots. But if you are going to focus on your roots, I would definitely recommend using the brush. Scalpel! Right now I'm just sectioning off my hair just to make it a little bit more simple. And it's going to depend on how much hair you have. Like I have a lot of hair, so more sections means more even distribution. Also because I can't see in the back, I just have to be very methodical about this. The other thing to consider is my roots probably won't be affected, but if your roots are a lot higher, you're going to want to be a little bit more careful here. Don't mind me, I'm literally not wearing a top because this is going to be really messy. <laughs> um, and I'll show you how I just kind of sectioned off my hair. It's not perfect, um, but I just want to jump in. <laughs> so let's go for it. Ugh. I want to keep my front pieces brighter, so I'm going to start uh, with the back. Also, I'm not really sure how the beige is going to turn out, so I want to be um, a little sparse with it. So what I did is I actually put a few pumps of the 9.5-1, uh, the purple, into the container of the beige, and, it, and I'm just like mixing it there and then scooping it in. As far as my setup goes, um, I'm going to just wash my hair in the tub, which is why I'm not wearing anything on top. So you kind of have to be prepared for a little bit of a mess and a little bit of an awkward body situation <laughs> if you're doing this at home. The Chroma ID comes in so many different gorgeous colors. Um, there's a really beautiful pink. There's also a clear gloss that you can use as like a mixing base. Um, along with the 9.5-1, like you can combine and make up your own colors, like if you like more of a pastel look. Um, so if this works out, I'll be definitely getting more. Alright, I'm actually going to turn you guys off, get to this, and then I'll uh, tune back in when I'm almost done. Alright, so I've actually applied it on my hair. It's all done. Hey Siri, put on a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes and counting. You'll actually never believe this, but as I was doing my hair, my best friend, who's also my hairstylist, was like, hey, what are you up to? And I'm like, um, <laughs> I'm dyeing my hair. <laughs> so she was saying how um, this is like a really like a revolutionary product for salons because it's a quality product that repairs the hair. It bonds the hair with the masking technology. And then the color technology is safe to do at home. It doesn't destroy the hair. And it also like... It can extend your visits from for salon if you go frequently for toners. It acts like a toner and it doesn't disrupt their thing. So rather than doing like a semi-permanent product or semi-permanent coloring um, with like a product from, you know, the, the uh, drugstores that like really fry your hair, this doesn't have an activator in it. So there's, it doesn't lift your hair, but it does the color depositing. So I was asking her about my roots and she said it won't do anything like there's no lifting agent in it. So I didn't really focus on my roots. I was just mostly trying to get the ends. Yeah, so it's just it's a really great product and she's super excited for it. And what we're going to do is I'm going to create a whole product list of things that you need to do this at home. And uh, they actually have these products on their website and they do ship like internationally wherever Canada Post ships. 
and I'm gonna see if we can do the Shansi 20 coat. So if it is possible, we'll put it there too so you can save a little bit of money and do this at home yourself. Okay, so it's all rinsed out and um, it's not too sudsy, but it does leave your hair really silky and smooth. Um, by the end of it, it started to smell a little bit like chemically, kind of like in the salon, so it doesn't quite smell like the product um, in the container. I'm just gonna towel dry it. I'll start brushing it through. Because it's a mask, it's actually really nice and smooth. I don't need to use my detangler. I'm gonna go back into my bedroom and do my blow drying there so we can get the best um, lighting for the color. Stay tuned. All right guys, here is the final result. It's definitely a lot warmer and the beige was a bit more prominent. Um, and to be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect from the beige. I'm not hating it because actually that warmth usually looks good. My goal for this was to blend out my highlights a little bit better with my darker root. So it'll be interesting to see what it looks like once I blow dry. For blow drying today, I'm gonna use this Revlon round brush it is actually awesome and it takes me so little time. I do have a video on how I do it. To make this video a little shorter, I'll just blow dry my hair off camera and then I'll jump in when it's done. Okay, before I keep going, I just wanted to get my bangs done for you as uh, hairstylists usually do, like they'll just kind of blow out a little piece just to see what it looks like. So this is nice. It's actually a really beautiful beige, a little bit warmer than like your, your cool tone blonde. Um, and I don't hate it. And you know what? It has a, this little light pink kind of undertone to it. It's interesting. I think next time I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the 9.5-1 to get actually more of a cooler finish but this still looks quite lovely so and it's like really soft and it smells really good too okay let me go finish up my hair and then we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like better. So I blow dried my hair. I added a few curls to it. Um, I do have really thick hair and I need to take my time when I'm blow drying it for like a perfect smooth look so don't mind that part but I'll do a little spin so you can see what the color looks like. show you guys up close as well. There's no extra lighting but I am facing a window just so you have an idea. And to be honest the more I look at it the more I love it. It's such a natural finish and in fact it reminds me of my natural blonde hair as a child. So you know you like dye your hair so much you kind of forget like what is your natural hair color although my roots are kind of quite dark um, there is like a subtle warm tone to my natural hair color and yeah this is spot on so I think initially I was looking for a little bit more of a cooler finish but I'm actually very happy with this result and yeah it actually really helps to blend my root I think it looks really natural and I think it's the right shade for the winter. It adds a little bit of color to my face. I'm not wearing any foundation but um, it just kind of gives me that little rosiness, you know, so I don't look dead. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video and thank you for sticking around this long. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments down below. I answer every single question. I hope you liked this video. Please uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. You know that these kinds of videos really help to support 
um, people right now. This is one of my income streams and uh, it helps to kind of pay for the time that it takes to put these videos together. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Stay safe!